At the turn of the century, the Canadian government was trying to attract experienced farmers to the prairies. The response was huge. Tens of thousands answered the call. But the only problem is that some of the settlers who came here to the Battleford area weren't the right color. Newspaper ads and brochures portrayed Canada's West as a veritable heaven on earth. The recruiting campaign caught the attention of blacks in the American Midwest. Among them, Murray Mays' grandparents, Joe and Maddie Mays. They were just one of 42 black families that ended up in the Battleford Maidstone area. The group built the Shiloh Baptist Church and tried to settle into their new lives. Their hope was to build a community and raise their family without having fear of uh, abuse. The Mays had come from Oklahoma. Not a very good place to be black at that time. Slavery was a not so distant memory and segregation and racism were getting worse. Whites from the south had moved into the area and uh, one of uh, our dogs went across their land and they shot him. And so one of uh, Grandpa's boys, he said, I'm going to take a rifle, I'm going to go over there and shoot one of his dogs. And Grandpa said, don't do that. And he says, uh, I'm going to leave here before some of my boys get killed. So the family sold everything and moved to Canada. My parents are buried right up there. Most of those original settlers are buried here at the Shiloh Church. They lived and worked on the surrounding land, but it took a long time for this place to feel like home to them. They'd call you names. They would call you a nigger. I think that the, the whites, uh, some of them, there's a lot of good people, but there was a few that thought, you know, what's happening here? These people, they're black. And um, what do they think, what do they think, uh, that they, they should move in here and uh, take over. The Canadian government hadn't expected such a large influx of blacks. Local officials were alarmed. The press was incensed. Some of the other settlers were downright hostile. After all, this was white man's country. Something had to be done. So the government slammed the door on black immigration. An order in council was passed forbidding their immigration for a full year. As the legislation stated, the Negro race is deemed unsuitable to the climate and requirements of Canada. But it wasn't all bad for the black families that made it here, certainly not as bad as it had been in Oklahoma. We are still uh, thanking God for, um, for being uh, Canadians. Joe and Maddie Mays left a legacy of strength and perseverance. Murray runs his own business in North Battleford. His oldest son, Reuben, played professional football and was named NFL Rookie of the Year in 1986. And while the other descendants of those original black settlers may not be as famous, they've contributed as much to Saskatchewan as anyone. We felt um, we were the same as everybody else. <laughs> we couldn't help because we were black. That's uh, God's creation, and uh, we felt that uh, we should survive like everyone else. The Shiloh Baptist Church stands as a tribute to black settlement in Saskatchewan. And a reminder, when it came to racism, there was often little difference between the American Midwest and the Canadian prairies. For the CBC News Hour, I'm Bill Wazer near Maidstone.